I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So I'm sure the two selectmen have looked over their minutes very carefully and yeah. they feel that they're in good shape and we can approve them. So yeah. I, I, I will um, make a motion to approve those minutes from August 23rd and you'll have to second because John wasn't here. Because I'll second them. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We have to sign it here, right? Mm -hmm. And after we do the sign copy, where should I put that? Just off to you the side. You just leave it in the folder and flip the folder over there okay. and you're all set. Okay. Just Julie will come around and put it at the end. All right. There so goes, the tent guy is here. That is uh, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> where you, you want to talk about tent permit and maybe charging for putting up some of the tents. You want to kind of explain that to us? Because I, I just. Uh, yeah, it's always been in the know, but I think. Um, so I think it was four or five years ago after the Lancaster um, Fair incident, the uh, state of New Hampshire uh, made sure that you know the town had fire chief and slash building inspector that they both did inspections um, because it's in both codes. It's, it's in the fire code and it's in the building code. And actually, that's one of the first things in the fire code that's on the checklist is that they, did they obtain a uh, building permit? Um, so anyway, the the, uh, the state made it, made everyone over. I mean, um, to get a permit for any tent that was over 400 square feet, and um, basically that comes under temporary uh, structures, which are good for 180 days. So about two years ago, the state legislature, um, the uh, uh, the senators and the uh, representatives, they basically made it so uh, we didn't have to do inspections. And, um, private properties they took out of it. They felt that was you know, um, not right to do, but still, still commercial devices. So then we have like four or five in town, um, and sometimes they, it's a last minute thing, like on Wednesday or Thursday, they felt you know, they get a permit, so they would give us like two days to do an inspection. But what I was just, and we felt two years ago when this became, um, well, they said regulated or whatever. We felt that you know we shouldn't charge private residents and maybe commercial um, entities. But now the private things out and the commercial properties are they can you know make a lot of money because basically doing weddings. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, it's in the code. Um, you know, it'll just be a straight um, you know seventy-five dollar permit. Um, and that pays for for JDU's inspection. Need to go out and do an inspection. Brings a little income in. So this would be every year when they start to put, they want to put their new tent up, you're going to go in there and do all your inspection, and yep. whatever, like we always do. And then, but you want right. to charge this. Yep, that's, that's all us. So it was just, just that we, you know, we weren't charging. It basically is, it is a part of the, the code in both the fire and building. Mm -hmm. um, do they have to get a building permit when they do that? <clears throat> that's basically what it is. It's a temporary, uh, temporary structure. That's what it comes under. It's good for 180 days. Like you, technically, you can't leave a tent up over 400 square feet more than 180 days. So we already have the. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. We already have the application for it. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. It, we're yeah, just exactly. everything's in place except yeah, the date. Do other towns charge, or do you know what they charge? Do you have any idea? I'm just um, curious. You know, we did look around, and I don't remember what it was like fifty dollars or whatever. I think in a few towns, but right. I, but I think um, put it this way: there's some towns who still don't go out and do inspections, mm -hmm. so I don't know how they get away with that liability mm -hmm. wise. Because I even like I would think I saw a crack just I think there was a uh, place in town that they went and they never called us for an inspection. You know, right. um, you know, I don't want to be. Left out and hanging out, not doing the inspection. So, should you let them know that next year or whenever, whenever these places, because there are certain places that use the tents all the time, it's yes, a lot of time, right? Yep. But let them give them a heads up because you don't want them to put that tent up, or you want to be around when they're putting the tent up, or do you wait until it's up and then do the inspection? It'd be nice to know like two weeks out that they're, yes, they're going to put a tent up so we can schedule to be there on a Thursday or Friday because usually they. They never set them up earlier than like a Wednesday. They're going to take them down the following week. Right. But some places do. Right. Other places leave it up for 180 days. Right. But it's just nice to put on your schedule and know that, you know, you don't have to be around or not be around. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask, 
Is there any reason that we would do like a scale of a fee if it were something for a temporary structure for a weekend versus a season long tent like Wentworth or Eagle? And caveat to that, would it be better to do under this many square feet, over 400 square feet, but under this many square feet? Or is there any reason to make it that complicated? Or I think that the permit is actually, it's, it has to be done under someone's name. So, you know, like one work can pull for 180 days. Mm -hmm. um, so technically, like Don, um, I'm not sure what's going to name, but another place could like mm -hmm. pull one up and just have it up for the week and take it down again. And then, when, you know, like a month later, they put up another tent. Gotcha. Guess what? They get charged the end. Okay. So, um, so having it as a 180 day. Yeah. Yeah, there's no so benefit to it either way. You know, yeah. a lot of these tents are, you know, usually the common size is, is, is uh, you know, 800 square feet usually. Yeah. Okay. It's a 40 by, 40 by 80, whatever they come. So give them a heads up that when this is coming, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and so that you're ready for them when they're, you know, it's May and they want to get that tent up for the first wedding or something. Does that, does that make sense? No, that does make sense. That way. And, you know, I say it's going to, you know, if you guys agree, like I said, it's in, it's in the building permit in the code already. Okay. Um, it's just that we have not been charging anything. Okay. And how much do you propose? Um, just a minimum building permit, which is, you know, it's a twenty-five dollar administration fee, and usually either forty-five or fifty dollars, so it comes out to seventy or seventy-five dollars. Um, I don't think it's a. I mean, if you know, no. if you know the, the <laughs> cost of writing, it's that. <laughs> That's I like, do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. like pocket change. Even the justice of the peace, and I know what that's about. Yeah. Get more so. than get something out of that. Okay. So what do you guys think? Do you want to um, charge? Want to start charging for putting up these tents? Well, I think you know it's man hours, or obviously putting in the time. So you have right. To come, you know, nice to recover some of that money. I agree. Is seventy-five the, the price we're looking at? I would say so. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, I think that's fair. Yeah, I think that's fair. And it doesn't apply to anything mm -hmm. under 400. So if it's a private party that's doing a small tent and in their backyard, it's not applying to that. It's just the, right. the, the larger yeah, size. We can't, yeah. can't do that anymore. Yeah, so, so. I, I think it's a fair amount, like you said, to cover the labor costs yeah. and to bring it in. So um, do I entertain a motion for? Um, Having Kevin charge seventy-five dollars, the town charging seventy-five dollars for tent inspections. I'll make that motion. A second. All those in favor. Aye. 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 You're in. Thanks, Kevin. Interesting. All right. Um, the next thing we have here is thank Heath and Sean to set for the town line sign. Have you guys seen that? Yes. It's Very pretty cool. nice. I don't know if we have to sign this or not. We made a motion. Um, Someone's going to have to sign this at some point. I think Ten when it gets, application. Yeah, when it gets uh, right. 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 Um Yeah, they, beautiful flowers. We saw pictures. I don't know if you saw the pictures. And they did mm -hmm. a nice job. Um, and they live up on Tin Line, just above us, above me. But it just really, really looks nice. So they just want to just tell them, we recognize that you did a great job. And we're really happy with it. Beautifying our town. Yeah. So thank you, Sean. And to say. Keith is, yeah, when, um, is very talented. Let's yeah, oh yeah, they both are. Browns keep <laughs> right. right, And I think we have a card here mm -hmm. that we we'll probably want to sign. Get to sign that. Yeah. And we'll do it while we're thinking Thanks. about it. Yeah. Is that the Board of Selectmen are requesting the following withdrawals for the trust funds as indicated below $507.21 from the Mark Hammer Police Department Fund um, 0073. See attached confirmation code 
um, JYQHJL dated 8-12-2022, Jet Blue Airways, make the checks out of the town to the withdrawal amount requested above. We all make a motion that we withdraw this money. I'll make that motion. For $507. Five hundred seven dollars. What was it for? Five hundred seven from the for the from the Mark Hammer Police Department fund. Something to do with the police department. And let's see specifically what it is. This charges for a flight from Ryan to EMS, an EMS conference. Oh. One of our guys. Okay. Because he needs a training. And that's what it's about. That's what they Well, I would like to have a little notice on that. Is, is, is it, he's well, already gone already? And I, don't, uh, I think they had, um, a, that had paid know. for the training before, but I don't remember. Julie, any other details on that? More details on the plane fare for Ryan to fly to the training. Do you want to table it? I know he's coming in a little bit. Do you want to table it and ask him questions about it before? Well, I'm just wondering if he's already gone to it. Is it already attended? This? Well, that's the thing. It's just October. 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 Okay. I'm sorry. It's October. Oh, okay. I just like to know well, in advance. That's all. Instead of having to hit with a five dollar yeah. bill afterwards. Right. No. Where is the money? It's going to be Hawaii. No. <laughs> <it's not. laughs> We're a gentleman. Maybe you have you know, it's funny, it doesn't, uh, doesn't say. Uh, I'm looking. It's saying where did it arrive? Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there Boston, Orlando. 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 Mm. Sorry. Yeah. Right. It's right during Disney. spring break, though. Perfect. Yeah. He's a young guy. <laughs> so, what do you want to do, Joe? I mean, we know he's going to do it. I mean, if you want to know more about it, but I think it's important. I think the chief thinks it's important. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think this would be a budgetary thing, 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 thing as opposed to withdrawal of the trust funds. Like it's, it's right. Yeah, and it's from, it's, well, it's from the um, the fund. That, is it from that fund that he had a donation from, Julie? From the Mark Hammer yeah, Police it's Department it's fund. It's the same one that the fire department got their um, ATV type vehicle. It, it was for anything for the I think it's something Pearlie wants to do, the chief wants to do, I think, you know, it's coming out of money we have. But again, John, if you, if you feel you're wanting to come a little bit more, we certainly can hold off. Mr. Allen? You still there's one I'm, is it I'm all right for go on this? I, mean, I guess so. I you know, I just I'd like to know a little more about it, I guess, but I guess it's all right, I guess. I guess, I guess, I guess. Yeah, well, like I said, the, the, the chief thinks it's a good thing for his guys to go to when he's pretty good about, you know, not spending careless. My knowledge we haven't approved any flights to any <laughs> other city to go for conferences. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's just something that's a uh, yeah. little unusual, I guess. Yeah. But it's an EMS, con yeah, it's an EMS conference. But he must feel like it's important to have the young guy go there. So should I, I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the JetBlue airfare. Okay. <laughs> the EMS co convention. All right. Uh, I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm going to oppose it. You oppose it? Yeah. Okay. And um, I think it's probably for the reasons you wanted. You just wanted to know a little bit. Well, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. So we've never done a, a conference like this where it's been a so far. B flights were involved. Obviously, a nice stay. It's, you know, it's just something you know. Maybe could have done a little more local. <laughs> I mean, there are more than one EMS conference. Well, than one I agree conference. that it would be nice to know the more more of the details about the entire <clears throat> conference mm -hmm. because the um, there's probably a conference fee and there's probably. There could be hotel included with the conference fee and the airfare is separate. Mm -hmm. So just knowing what the details are would be, mm -hmm. would be nice. All right. 
I guess I was just hanging my head on the fact that you know, the chief thinks it's the right thing to do for his guys, but you know, we do have the authority to say yes or no, or maybe, or think about it. So, but we passed it. And we'll get more information in the future. Yeah, and please do ask the chief, you know, a little bit more about it, and we can get to that. You'll hear all of this and maybe see the minutes and know that we might want more information before this comes to us. Right? Anyway, you know. Okay. If anyone's flown lately, that's actually a punishment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. yeah, isn't, that, isn't that the truth? <laughs> okay, facilities committee. Do you have you said you have? I have an update. Okay. Um, we had the facilities meeting after the last select meeting, and we are putting out um, a press release about our, our uh, progress. Janice um, Crawford is now our amazing minute taker and helping us stay focused and getting out the to the public more progress that the facilities committee is, is making so we're in the midst of preparing a survey but we're also going to have our next meeting on september 19th at four o'clock at the whitney center but on september 27th at seven o'clock at the whitney center is the really important night that we want to make sure everyone knows about taxpayers, residents, any interested parties in the town of Jackson, because it's going to be a listening post where we talk about the facilities and the needs of the town. We're going to have a PowerPoint presentation that talks a lot about the current uses, uses of the buildings and um, facilities, the school, etc. So we really want to garner as much uh, attention to that as we can, get as many people as we can to that. Um, so again, September 27th, at seven o'clock at the Whitney Center. And we want to have a, a really good conversation and some input from taxpayers and residents about what they feel the needs um, are of the town now, what they could be in five years, 10 years, 20 years. And um, what we're really hoping at the end of the year when we present, when the facilities committee presents to the Board of Selectmen, that we have laid some groundwork for the next 10 year master plan for the planning board. Um, so that's kind of what we're focusing on now is to get a lot of input, get a lot of information put together on what we currently have and what the, what the thoughts are that we currently need and need for the future. That's my update. That's good. It's a great committee. Lots of, lots of participants. <clears throat> well, all right. The next thing we have here is uh, I'm going to talk about the old library again in, in uh, People hit the bottle there. Uh, you know, we allow wine drinking, wine and cheese or whatever, okay? And, and Julie Atwell has checked in with our insurance people. They tell us they can do it. It's okay. But they have to get a one-day permit to, to be allowed to do that so that they're, they're covered, we're covered everywhere else in case someone falls or slips or whatever might happen if they have too much wine and cheese. So um, what am I supposed to do with this, Julie? If we, if, Beyond, we, it's giving us information. You, make, you need to make a motion for it to allow this particular event okay. and that you're giving select and approval to authorize the use of alcohol if they obtain, okay. as long as they obtain the proper insurance. And this is Melanie's event? Yes. Okay. So Melanie Barish Levitt wants to have her art fair over a few days in December mm -hmm. and possibly serve some kind of alcoholic beverage, whether it be a hard cider or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. So as long as she gets her permit for the day, um, she's covered, we're covered, everybody's covered. So um, I'll make a motion that we allow them to do this as, in, as long as they follow the rules, and that is getting their permit for the day that they're doing the event, the drink. Okay. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And that was also good research because there was some other talk about possibly other buildings that are owned by the town not mm -hmm. knowing that they needed insurance for right. any no, events like that. Great so. find all that out. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, Short-term rentals, new permits, not applicable. We don't have any violation notices. Um, we don't have those pending, not available. Now we have a complaint, and we're going to deal with that, but we're going to go into non-public session. 
So, you know, we'll, so we're just going to finish off the rest of this agenda, and then we'll come back to that, and then we can go into an unpublic session and talk about this. Okay? Sounds All good. Right? Is that, do I have to make a motion for that? Not until no. the end when okay. we go into non-public. Okay. All right. Um, building and driveway permits. Uh, approved building permits, Kevin. Do you have anything to say about those? No, it doesn't look straightforward. People just keep on building. It's, it's crazy. I mean, you know, <laughs> there's another new house coming in, too. Yeah. Besides the one on here? Just like the after today. Yeah. I just saw. Our prices for materials getting better. <laughs> I, mean, I think, like, why would the stock drop like five or ten dollars? That's it. Mm -hmm. But I think it is pretty much still way up there. The contractors are the hard part, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homeless. Yeah. Finding pharmacists, finding plumbers, finding eye doctors. Yeah. All right, so that's all. You're all set there. Okay, good. You got a new house on Dundee. Is that the one you're talking about, the new house? No, this is just like plants coming through. Uh, Yankee, uh, Yankee Barn design or something like that. I haven't even heard of a high quality, like pretty fab hmm. house. Oh, yeah. okay. All right, approved driving permits, not available, not, not applicable, so we're all set there. So I guess I have to go through the upcoming meetings. Uh, September 13th, Tuesday, fellow selectmen, we're going to be busy that day. It's state primary election day at Whitney Center from 8 to 7. And uh, we have to be there. there are a few other people. Do we have everybody we need, Julie? Do we know? What is it? Mm -hmm. Should we be soliciting on tape here? We need more people. Please contact the office or. No? Um, you know, I have not heard you this update. I will follow up and send an email if they still need people. Okay. All right. And then we have a selectman's meeting on Tuesday, September 27th at 3.30. Another one the October 11th at 3.30. A Tuesday, Tuesday, October 25th at 3.30. And then yet another election, mm -hmm. Tuesday, November 8th, the state general election at Whitney Center, 8 to 7. I know the selectman will be there and anybody else who um, <laughs> would, wants to help us out. Especially me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Public comment. Is there any? Kevin. Just, just a quick comment. Um, yes. Uh, fire department EMS wise, we've had three calls at the Jackson Falls since I've been here last time. Two or four. Wow. Carry out. I think broken. I think both people had uh, broken pelvises. Um, oh. That one was just a walkout. Um, but all agencies work together. EMS nice. and fire department. So, um, right at the falls, that's a very, very oh, yeah, slippery right spot. Water, someone just, you know, so it is so slippery, slippery it's incredible. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, and serious stuff, broken Yeah, I could see that because they probably went up and then bam, right down in the. Oh. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Diana's Pass, the same thing. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, I. I just happened, just a personal story about that. The first time I brought my wife there, like 17 years ago, we were out on the river, and I was getting ready to tell her, be careful when you're going, and she got ahead of me. She went down like you wouldn't believe. She was very lucky she didn't crack her head the way, the way, the way she fell. So you've got to be very, very careful on the slippery rocks there. Yeah. Well, all right. Um, so the, we have a non-public session because it's applicable. So let's apply it. So what do we have to do to do that? So any other public we, comments? Well, yeah. I don't. Oh, the other, any public any comments? Other I'm sorry. You know, Kevin was going to I didn't know because they had a little. So I will make a motion to um, not adjourn, to, to move into uh, non-public at 3.54 p.m. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.